Hey, good afternoon. This is John from Two Doves Bees and Gardens. This is February 7th, 2021. Super Bowl Sunday, by the way. I'd rather hang out with my bees. Anyway, <laughs> different story. Uh, anyway, I'm going to talk to you about some things and share a story related to this cover. Last summer, I had a hive. That hive was sitting out in the full sun, just like these are right now. And uh, it was getting up to be uh, near 100 degrees. I think we were supposed to get up to 105 that day. And uh, I got into that hive and I noticed that there were no bees in the top of it. And uh, I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. It's a strong hive. I knew they were strong. They were um, just not up in the top box. And it's like, well, that's kind of crazy. So I did some searching around and uh, wanted to figure out what I could do, uh, what options I had for uh, that hive, being that they were in the full sun, and uh, see what I could do. So uh, one of the things I found was this company called Be Smart Designs. They've got these uh, insulated hive covers. It's called the Ultimate Hive Cover. And uh, so I bought a couple and wanted to put them to the test, especially here in Texas. Um, it was really hot and uh, wanted to see what it would do for my bees. So I grabbed one of these and uh, as soon as I got them in and took it over to that hive that was really, really hot, I put it on there and came back the next day. And it was like night and day. The bees had moved up into the box. They were working that box. They were bringing in, uh, it was uh, just at the end of our nectar flow, but they were bringing in some nectar. So I was really, really impressed um, with this design. That experience with the uh, Ultimate Hive Cover led me to start thinking about how I run my apiary and the configuration of my hives. So I reached out to the Be Smart Design people and I looked at what they had available. What other tools were available to me that I had even no idea of just a, a, a couple of months earlier. The, in addition to this, ultimate hive cover they have a whole system of uh, uh, supplies for bees and beehives and uh, I wanted to share some of those things with you so in addition to the ultimate hive cover um, they've got an ultimate stand an ultimate baseboard um, and several other components you should go check them out let me show you a few things here this uh, hive stand um, is very handy very durable uh, it's um, hard hard plastic and it's really easy to set up. Um, you can get these in both eight and 10 frame, uh, but definitely go check that out, um, especially for new beekeepers. One of the first questions that uh, beekeepers often get is like, okay, I've got these bees coming and I have this hive ordered. Maybe it's a nuke. Um, I've, maybe I've got some uh, gear already. What am I gonna put them on? <laughs> I know I was kind of like that and uh, and so they have an, a, a solution for you, this ultimate hive stand. One of the good things about it is it also comes with a frame rest and that works really well. It'll hold three frames pretty easily. And it's, like I said, adjustable to eight or 10 frames. Anyway, it's made of a heavy duty plastic, um, really easy to set up. It's lightweight too. So that if you needed to set something up fairly quickly or you needed to carry it with you somewhere, uh, out yard, bee, uh, out, uh, bee yard somewhere else if your bees are somewhere. This is really easy to take with you. The other thing that they have is this Be Smart baseboard. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details to begin with. We're going to take a deeper look at some other point. But one of some of the things I wanted to point out to this, um, it's got a textured landing board for your bees. It's got strap slots both here in the front and back and both sides. So if you uh, ratchet strap or strap your hives, um, it's got a little slot for that. It comes with um, these little um, inserts and these function in a couple of different ways. Um, this is for a mouse guard. Um, you can leave it out so you can leave this fully open if you need to, mouse guard. Or if you just want to block the whole entrance off and reducer, have a, an entrance reducer, just flip that over, um, stick that down in there and it closes it off. Very, very handy, especially on new bees, new packages, new nukes. Um, you probably want to close it down um, to maybe just one uh, side or the other, or maybe one in the middle, but re reduce it down, especially on new hives or smaller hives. Let me show you a couple other things real quick. 
uh, and we'll get into more details later. But uh, uh, I always mark my uh, inner covers this side up because I like to use the same side every time. Just a dull tip for you. One of the other th things they have are these feeders. These feeders hold one gallon and uh, they're very easy to use and put your lid back on. It's, oh, by the way, it's got a nice seal there and it's got these little feet. Um, you can use them uh, medium. I just had a deep handy, so you can just set that in there. Uh, but when you fill them up, fill them up all the way, give it a little squeeze and then turn it over. It's got directions right on the ring here. But anyway, uh, good feeder. I've used a number of types of feeders and I'm looking forward to this. I really like this design. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in here close for a better look of this baseboard. I mentioned the post that your um, high body will sit on. There's one in each corner. Here's the one in the front and there's one over on this side over here. Um, we mentioned these um, entrance, introduce, entrance reducers slash mouse guards and they can come right off. They, got, they fit in there nice and tight too, by the way. Um, so they're not gonna just fall off. The baseboard is ventilated and you see this mesh here and it's for integrated pest management, IPM. Let me show you how this happens. This comes out. You see me sliding the plastic out of there. And just set that aside and you can leave that open. Um, and that's for your pests to fall through. When the bees clean them off of themselves, the pests will fall through and leave the hive. And typically they won't come back up through there. Here in North Texas, I can and I have run screen bottom boards fully open all year round. I think the um, screens provide ventilation during the summer and um, moisture uh, evacuation in the winter so you don't get a built, of, built up of moisture inside your hive. It has a place for any moisture that builds up in the hive to leave the hive. So if anything builds up, uh, comes down your um, your hives, it will actually leave the baseboard. And that's a really awesome feature. Anyway, for those uh, new beekeepers, the uh, people that are looking to become beekeepers, uh, or if you're a small scale beekeeper, I definitely uh, recommend you taking a look at these, the Be Smart design. In fact, you're gonna see a couple more videos uh, over the summer featuring this whole setup. I've got some hive monitoring tools where we're going to be actually taking measurements from the hive. We're going to be testing the, the temperature and the humidity from inside of this hive and then another one set up in the traditional way with straight woodware and uh, the metal top and we're going to see what the difference is. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the, the difference between this and the metal um, or migratory top. I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty significant. I already know that the metal top that I had that I replaced for the with the Be Smart design made a significant difference. And uh, I'm a show me kind of guy and a data kind of guy. So we're gonna show you. I'm gonna collect that data and I'll be sharing it with you. So anyway, hang on tight. Look for these guys. Be Smart Design, I'll put a link down below. I'll also put a link to that original video uh, probably up here in one of these corners and you'll you can take a look. Be Smart Design. Uh, I appreciate it. This has been John at Two Dust Bees, and I hope you have an awesome year.